Ciao, Captains. I'm Dasha Perova, which means that you're watching the Update 0.10.1 review. The new update brings Italian battleships to early access, updated brawls, another clan battle season, the second season of updated ranked battles, graphical improvements, and much more. Captains, I'm happy to announce that the Italian battleships are ready to serve. They feature semi-armor piercing shells, a decent number of guns, and good armor. The new ships, which are placed at Tier 8 and higher, are additionally equipped with the exhaust smoke generator. You'll be able to evaluate all the advantages of the new Italian warships in this update. Battleships from the coast of the Apennine Peninsula are set to arrive in early access. The update brings six new warships from Tier 4 through Tier 9. Dante Alighieri, Conte di Cavour, Andrea Doria, Francesco Caracciolo, Vittorio Veneto, and Le Ponton. Right now, I'm going to tell you how you can add these beautiful ships to your port collection before everyone else. By completing combat mission groups, you'll earn a permanent camouflage for Tier 6 Andrea Doria special signals, and Italian tokens. The final reward for completing the combat mission groups is Tier 7 battleship Francesco Caracciolo. Speaking of Italian tokens, these can be spent on consecutively available bundles that hold Italian battleships of Tiers 4, 5, 6, and 8. The bundles additionally drop useful in-game items, as well as the Roman permanent camouflage for Francesco Caracciolo and Legion permanent camo for Italian battleships between tiers 8 and 10. The combat mission groups aren't the only way to obtain Italian tokens. They can be earned by completing a special chain of combat missions in the game, as well as combat missions that can be unlocked only by watching our official streams. The tokens can also be found in armory bundles that are divided into three categories. The first type is random free bundles. The second type can be obtained in exchange for recruitment points. Finally, the third bundle type can be obtained in exchange for doubloons. By the way, another Italian battleship, Tier 9 Lepanto, can be obtained from the bundles for doubloons. Update 0.10.1 also brings the next ranked battle season. You can expect several new features and changes. The duration of the second season of updated ranked battles has been increased twofold. In other words, you'll have more time on your hands to grab all the rewards. The amount of rewards has also increased twofold. In addition to steel, doubloons, and camouflages, you can earn special ranked containers. These are divided into three types, bronze, silver, and gold. Each container type is directly linked to the league in which it can be obtained. In the new season, all players start their paths at the beginning of a sprint in the bronze league. A sprint now starts at rank 10 in all three leagues. Battles in the Bronze League will be fought playing Tier 8 and 9 warships. After the qualification, captains will be able to choose between Tier 9 and 10 warships in the Silver League. Finally, captains will fight playing only Tier 10 warships in the Gold League. We've also implemented a series of changes to the interface for ranked battles in the new season, making it more convenient and informative. I want to wish you all luck in getting to the top of the ranked heights. I hope you achieve numerous victories in the upcoming season. The twelfth season of Clan Battles, called Greece, will be played on Tier 9 warships with teams of seven. We've added a system for setting restrictions on specific warships in the new season. These can be set for the entire duration of a season or for specific periods of time. Such changes will reduce the chances of the same warships being selected and provide clans greater gameplay variety. Update 0.10.1 brings another game mode for everyone. Please welcome the updated Brawls. It's now an individual battle type that features short seasons and small teams. Players can battle alone or in a division, and being a member of a clan isn't necessary. This update will host a season with players battling one versus one playing Tier 8 warships. The rewards include credits, Elite Commander XP, coal, and signals. Update 0.10.1 also brings updated reflections of the sun on water. Additionally, we've improved the water imaging. 
We've increased the height and speed of waves on some maps. The visibility of squadron reticles will also be improved on all maps. This is just a small portion of the graphical improvements planned for this year. You can find more detailed information about other new features and changes in World of Warships in a special article on our website. My name is Dasha Padova, and I wish you a great mood and plenty of victories, both in the game and in real life.